How's it going? If you remember a few days ago, I uh, tried out my rotary oven for the first time and we made a couple of frozen pizzas and thought it did a pretty good job. We liked the pizzas okay, but I didn't think they were as good as they could possibly be. So I thought we'd try this again, but with some pizzas that we made from scratch. Now, we're gonna go ahead and make a cauliflower crust pizza and just put our own ingredients on top and cook it on the rotary oven. So the first thing we have to do is start out and make the cauliflower crust. What we need to do is take a, uh, we're gonna make two pizzas. So what, by the recipe, we would need to take two cauliflower heads. I got one really big cauliflower head. And then we cut it up and then we uh, chopped it up finely in our little mini food processor. If I'd had a full size food processor, I suspect this would have been a lot easier, but it took me a few batches to get it through. But we were able to successfully do that. Now one of the other things I was careful to do is really uh, cut out a lot of the thicker stalks. We just want the florets in here. All right, so we have our cauliflower prepped. The next thing we need to do is steam it. So uh, let's go ahead and put it in the steamer. Now my steamer um, tray had fairly large holes. So to supplement that or to replace that, I'm gonna use this metal sieve and um, that way the fine grains won't fall through. So we're gonna use this metal sieve and we're gonna go ahead and steam this. And about halfway through, we're going to give it a stir in there just to make sure it's getting steamed evenly. Now once that's done, we're going to go ahead and we're gonna dump the uh, steamed cauliflower out on a paper towel and we're gonna to mix together the ingredients for the, um, for the rest of the mixture. For a batch of two crusts, four eggs beaten, one cup of grated mozzarella, one cup of grated parmesan, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of garlic powder, and then we add the cauliflower to that. So we're going to go ahead and mix up uh, the other ingredients, we're going to let the cauliflower sit on these paper towels to absorb the moisture, and then we're going to let it cool off, and then we'll mix it all together. At that point, we'll have our cauliflower crust dough, and we'll get ready to start making it. You know, that actually smells really good. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take half of this mixture, and we're going to form our crust on the rotary oven surface and we're going to cook just the crust in the oven it said it should have been about 20 minutes we're going to set this for about 10 minutes and we're going to keep an eye on it because we don't really know exactly how long this is going to take we're sort of experimenting here so uh, just so you know this is victoria's so we're experimenting on victoria's that way mine will be perfect when it comes time so let's go ahead and get out the rotary uh, oven and get the crust put on it. Let's see what we can do to make a crust. So because this is really not like a sticky dough, we just have to put some of this on here and sort of form a circular blob that we're gonna crisp up. attempt at a cauliflower crust. Let's go ahead, we're gonna do this upper and lower. 
keep an eye on it. I guess see how it turns out. I'm gonna set it for 12 minutes. Let's see how it does. All right, so the crust has finished its first 12 minutes of cooking. I'm gonna take a quick look at it, see what it looks like, and decide how I want to proceed with the burners, etc., and whether or not I wanna start putting the uh, ingredients on yet. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start loading up the uh, uh, ingredients on Victoria's. She just wants uh, a light coating of sauce, and mozzarella on hers. So let's go ahead and get her loaded up. One of the things we got was low sugar pizza sauce, making sure we eliminate sugars and carbs. That's our goal. I don't think that's really light, but I think it's going to be fine. All right, there we have it. Crank this up to about 10 minutes. See how it turns out. All right, I think it's ready. Seems nice and bubbly. The crust seems nice and crusty. Take a look. All right, we're gonna pull this off and, and go ahead and cut it. Let the um, oven cool down a little bit and then we're gonna run it again for my pizza. The crust doesn't seem overly crunchy. It may be, it's firm. So I guess we'll see how it turns out in one moment. This is cooling down. It smells and looks delicious, but I can also tell the burn that I go right for the, the heart of it. Mmm! The crust um, is really fluffy, actually. And it does taste like, you mentioned, almost like grits. It tastes almost like a cornmeal kind of crust, which I love. Mmm, this is really interesting, very unusual. So what we're finding with Victoria's is the crust is very fluffy uh, and, and not very uh, sturdy. So what I'm going to do with mine when I make it is when I transition between baking just the crust, I'm actually going to flip the crust over so that each side gets a, a chance to be on the cooking surface. So I'm going to flip that before I put my ingredients on and maybe that will help out. So again, we're experimenting. All right, we finished on one side. Let's go ahead and flip the crust, see if we can cook it a little bit on the other side, and then we'll load it up with our ingredients. flipped it. Let's cook it another 10 minutes and see how it works out. All right, it looks like flipping it over and cooking it on the other side has helped tremendously. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pull this off, put our ingredients on, 
and then put it back on to finish cooking and then we'll see where it goes from there. And let's crank it up for another 10 minutes, see where we end up. Okay, this is looking really good. Um, I'm going to share this with you and then I'm going to meet you out in the uh, dining uh, living room and we'll give this a, a try, okay? All right, let's give it a try. The crust is really firm, it's very tasty. The taste of cauliflower is pretty strong though, which, which is a detraction. It's actually really good. I have to eat it with a fork though. It's still firm, but it's not firm enough to pick up. Overall, I think it tastes really good. I'm gonna enjoy it. And it is probably the healthiest pizza I've ever eaten in my life. All right, thanks for stopping by and uh, I'm gonna go eat this. And we'll see you later. Bye now.